Okay, so after you graft all three trials, uh, one rubber band, two rubber bands, three rubber bands, I only have one so far, but you, after you've gotten all three, you'll need to decide how you're gonna plot it on your graph. Now, the x-axis has got uh, the leading edge of the rubber band, or the leading edge of the, um, yeah, leading edge of the rubber band, and uh, one centimeter equals 50 years, so that's gonna be our, um, our time column over here. And then the y-axis is our leading edge of the wood block, and that's going to be our slip distance uh, column over here. So we have to decide, you know, how how are we going to label the graph? Um, the way I do that is I look at the lowest one. So I'll take this column first. Uh, our lowest number is zero. Our highest number is 950. We have, and this is our time. So our time is the bottom here. I've counted these and there's 26 of them so I would take uh, 950 minus 0 which is 950 uh, and I would 950 minus 0 so 950 and I'm going to divide that by the 26 spaces we have and that comes up to be 36.5 that's kind of a weird number I'm gonna round it up to a more easier to deal with number. I'm gonna round it up to 50. So that tells me what I'll do is I'll uh, I will, I'll put each of the or actually 36.5. Oh yeah, 950 years divided by so about 50 years each one. So what I'll do is I'll put over here. This will be zero, the first one. And the next one would be 50, so it doesn't get too crowded. I'll just skip it, uh, every other one. So 100, 150, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400. And I'm going to keep going until I get to the 950 or, or beyond it. Uh, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So we have a little bit left, but at least we're going to get everything we need on that uh, x-axis. That's 1,000. All right, so we got the x-axis done. Now the y-axis we got it starts at zero, and then the highest one is ten and a half. Uh, we'll have when you do yours, you'll have to check your trials one, two, and three, and see whatever's your lowest to whatever's your highest uh, to when you do the when you do your graph uh, scale. So we have from zero to 10 and a half. Uh, so that would be, uh, let's see, 10 and a half, 10.5 minus zero equals 10.5, of course. And we're gonna divide that by the 26, which gives us 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is not the easiest to deal with. So let's go up a little bit. Let's go up to 0 0.5, because 0 0.5 is one half that's easier to deal with uh, so we'll do zero that'd be 0.5 this would be one one and a half this would be two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half five five and a half uh, or that'd be six excuse me six and a half seven seven and a half eight eight and a half nine nine and a half ten so we have more than enough, we have a little bit of space on the graph, and we're ready to go. Um, so now I'm going to plot these. So the first one is, uh, starts out, I'm going to go by the years part. I'm not going to go by the, the part we got in the, in the lab. Uh, I'm going to go by the conversion um, to the years because that's the amount of time that has passed to put the tension on the um, wall. So the first one's zero, zero. So we put a plot at zero years, zero uh, movement. Next one, I'm just gonna read them and then plot them. Next one's 50, zero. So 50, zero, we're there. Next one is 100, zero. 150, zero. We actually stay at zero all the way up to beyond 400 when we get to 450 that's where we have a half slip okay so 
in reality this would be a straight line and then if you've seen in math where they have the the open ended dot because it didn't happen there it just immediately slid up so we'd put put a dot up there or we'd put where it's at so it's almost like a staircase um, so that's 450 uh, let's see and then 500 would be one and a half so it went over and then up um, you can also draw you can either draw the you can do it two ways you can draw the op the horizontal line with the open ended and then a close ended let me make that look a little better um, or you can draw just a a staircase but it goes horizontal till it moves and then it jumps up so 500 and then we're at uh, 550 is at 2 so it went horizontal open one and then 650 or 600 is at 3 so it went over open ended so you got these little staircases um, and you continue graphing it like that I'll do one more and then uh, 650 to 5 so it goes horizontal open ended and that's where it jumps so remember just horizontal open ended then uh, wherever it jumps and you continue that on with the rest of your data uh, you'll put all three trials on the same graph label them you know, label them trial one, one rubber band, trial two, two rubber bands, trial three, three rubber bands.